go, go, go. What's the word? It's big old back door, man. See your trail, man. It's kid. I'm over here with my one, man, at Dash Radio. Introducing my new single. Tap in, man. Gang. Stay. Everybody, this is my Juan with the CEO. Go, go, go. Man, how you doing, bro? Excuse me. I'm really chilling. I'm blessed. Man, I want to first make sure I say it properly so I don't get slapped. CEO Trail. Trail. Trail, right? Trail. Trail. Good. Trail. So I kept watching interviews trying to prepare myself, and I kept, I was torn between Trill and Trail. Trail. Okay, got right. it. Right, Trail. T-R-A-I-L. Got it, got it. T-R-E-L-L. Okay, cool. I had to make sure, man. spelled that way. Yeah, it's, well, it's dope that it's spelled differently. Yeah. And I think this, the CEO part of, of your name fits so well. Right. Because you are a motherfucking CEO down Appreciate to the core, man. Big old boss. Man, I'm going to start with a gift I want to give you. I gift every artist an album. An album that I felt like might have meant something to their childhood. Uh-huh. Or an album that might spark some, you know, inspiration for you. So this is Gucci Man, Trap man, House. That's crazy. That's the shit you loved, right? Yeah, I feel with Gucci. That's a, oh, so Icy's on there. Uh, that's his like first major yeah, album. First, yeah, this is, I appreciate it. That's it's for you to keep, man. It, are, are you still blocked on his IG? Nope, man. Gucci talk. We talked for a long time. We got it squared away, you know. When Everything did that cool. It really happened like a couple of months last year, around, around a couple months ago. Yeah. Okay. How did that feel? Was that like? It was crazy. Must have felt good, Gucci. right? Yeah, it was crazy. Cause I watched in a interview you had done. You know, you grew up off him. Like you yeah, love, you love the way he moved. You love the way he rapped. And plus, then, like you know, like Gucci Man was one of the people that I, I always watched, and I just respected how he moved in the game, and how he did his business and shit like that. And niggas never played with Gucci, and I, yeah. I always admired that. And he never had to like change who he was. He was right. Always, he was always, always himself. himself. Right. But for you, it must have been like I remember. I think I saw in the interview. You felt it was kind of weird that he blo- like he hit you, and then you didn't sign with him or whatever. However that went, and then he blocked you all at the same time. And you're like, damn. Yeah, I got older. I got older. I realized like I really must have said some shit that I, you know, like just talking on my ass, feel let like, let the CEO shit. Yeah. Talk, out of talk out of besides the fact that this is Gucci man, like you know what I'm saying. So it's like you know. Still gotta have respect for the OGs in the game, and when they come at you and sign, trying to talk to you and shit, just because you hot, don't let that shit go to your head. You know what I'm saying? It didn't go to my head. It's just that I kind of figured out, like, felt like I knew what I wanted, but I didn't really know what I wanted. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I was just talking and saying shit, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Did you ever go back and read the messages you guys yeah, were saying? Yeah, sure. So you caught that you were maybe yeah, a little sure. bit big-headed at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you spoke to him, did you? I think your boy got a little J for you. When you spoke to him, did you um, did you come out and like apologize, or did he hit you, or y'all just? Nah, he hit me, and he was like, he he was just like, uh, he was just basically saying like he he really listened to my music. That was one thing I I really loved. He told me that he really listened to my music. And he was that just, must have felt. Funny he was like, him, yeah, he was like, he didn't really he didn't really understand like when I when he first came around and tried to sign me, he didn't really understand that. I had did the El Gato Baby mixtape and I put the tattoos on my son's face like how he got the tattoos on yeah. his face and I was calling myself Ranger Davis Jr. and you know all that yeah. other stuff like I was super, doing like super and I was doing, by right him. really just doing doing what I could do to try to get his attention at that time yeah but I just feel like it didn't it didn't work out like how it didn't work out because it worked out how it was supposed to work exactly. out exactly you know? and then and then you got. You got you got together with Taurus, right? Yeah, like, you got yeah, together with Taurus, nah, right? Like, yeah, like got together, like really, like just well, like Taurus, basically my homie, like. So it's yeah, just like he became like when he first started making beats. I used to sit, we used to sit um, at Uno's spot. Uno is Rocco's son, my other brother. You know, one of my other brothers from another mother. But we used to sit at um, Uno's spot when he used to first teach himself how to make beats. So damn, when, you've been with him since. Yeah. yeah. So when cool. Charles used to, he used to come in there late night, get out the road with Gunner, come in there late night, make beats. I just like slide out the way, you know, let him do his thing, and then just listen to the beats and rap and create ideas with him, and just, you know, what I'm saying, just rap off the beats and shit like that. That's it, you know. So yeah, that's how that kind of happened. Like me and Charles kind of built thing, a bond. Think, like like you way. said, it was meant to be for you to right. not go 10, 17, end up with YSL. 
y'all blowing up? I mean, not really necessarily like not go 1017 because it's like deep down in her, I always want to be 1017. Know. You know, I, I just, it's just them. like, um, I set a course to be my own boss. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm gonna stick to that. That's it's the, in the name, right? C CEO. It's, that's just the way I wanted to brand myself, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Like, Absolutely, you know? I think it was smart, man. There, and I feel like I, f I, my bad, not to cut you off, but I also feel like uh, Slime and Gunner, they kind of understand where I want to go with it. Mm -hmm. Like even if they don't see my vision completely, they down for whatever to help me accomplish whatever I want to accomplish. So absolutely, well that's the one thing about YSL I noticed early on is you guys and they build people up, like. Right. Everyone at YSL is like a business of their own. It's not like young thug in the homies. It's, you know, thug. Yeah, everybody thug, got a name. Feed. Everybody got a name. Yeah, their own name, their own look, even their own feel, you know? Everybody got a name. And you're, bro, you're unique as a motherfucker, man. Thank Your you. music don't sound like Thank nobody's. You. One of the best, uh, one of the most, one of the best labels we got. Oh, one yeah, of the best no, hottest label It's not even like a question right, right now. Look at most definitely. They just beat, y'all yeah. beat out the weekend. You push that motherfucking P all the way to number one. Push your P. I can't believe uh, they beat the weekend, man. That's that's great, bro. Shout out to I mean shit. Gunna, shout out to Cash. Shout out to Weekend. Yep. Shout out to everybody at the Style, XO family. XO, you know, everybody. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. You nah, know. and that, and you guys did a good job. That album, the tape's crazy. Tape, um, DS Five now, DS Five. And so, but stylistically, bro, I've got to ask you, like, who who's inspired the way that you rap, your style? What I can honestly say is, um, 50 Cent, Gucci Man, Rocco, Slime, Gunner, Gunner that influenced me a lot over the past, you know, months that I've been with him. And not only that, like, Out of Sight, Out of Mind was one of the songs, like, I really started really trying to, like, I felt like he was so cool on that shit, you know? He was, like, yeah, yeah. Like, super cool laid back, so I kind of, like, borrowed that from my brother too like you know mm. so it's just like shit shit like that yeah but it's like i got a lot of influences it's not even just like i, I might hear something from somebody in russia and then it influenced me like yeah. everybody in but the you world don't sound like me. nobody you know and that's who the you best part remind me of you grew up i feel like we grew up on the same era rap uh the cat that you reminded me of because he doesn't sound like anybody is juvenile Kind of remind me of Juvie, because like Juvie he doesn't. There's no one else that sounds like him. I can't think of anyone else that sounds right. like you. Like no one else that sounds like CEO Trail. Like there's nobody. I can't think of anybody. I appreciate there's that. Elements of it. But I, don't, I don't really hear nobody that really sounds like me either. Nah. Now, have you heard people start biting yet? Has it happened yet? Because you know people are gonna start popping up left and right with your same cadence, same, you know. That's why I just like stay, I stay in the studio. So it's like, that's what music for. Like if I, if I inspire people to, to come out and sound like me, not biting and shit like that. Now if they come out and trying to be a replica of me, then you know, but it's like Slime had those too. Like, you know, oh, yeah, everybody absolutely. had those too. So it's just like, if I, if you do want to be like me, that mean I'm on the path to being great. And I'm just trying that's to influence true. people the best way I can in a, in a, in a, in a great direction. Cause you know, that's what the music for feel like, just to make you feel good. Like I just want to make people feel. I just want to have a song for every kind of mood you can have. Like you yeah, know? certainly, man. I think you you're on that path because your your music goes hard, but a lot of it is not what you would think it's about. It's about right. a female, or it's about you know like getting your heart broken or some shit. So it's cool, man. You're like a unique artist, bro. You're Thank like you. for real, one on one. If anyone watching this it doesn't Thank believe me. Check, check Thanks. dude out. Listen to Happy Halloween 1 through 4, right? Right. Happy Halloween, if I'm, make right. sure I'm saying it right. Happy Halloween. Bro, them records on there. You and Turbo, right? Right. Bro, y'all got like a little Shaq and Penny thing going. Right, we, right. Like, it was crazy how that, that whole thing came together. It was really just a whole vibe, the, the making of the album and everything. And I just, I appreciate Turbo because he was so... Excuse me, he was so hands on and like he was so hands on with everything. He was in the studio with me every night. He like That's, that's my dope. brother, I love him. He really He put he time really, in. Yeah, he really we really we we really put a lot of time into the Happy Halloween C four project. 
Yeah. We really put Let me ask time. you for my own personal, just so I know, because the other ones were Happy Halloween 1, 2, 3. Mm-hmm. On 4, you did C4. What was the inspiration behind that? Uh, because I really didn't name myself C4. I feel like the streets gave me that name. Not oh. even on some like gangster shit. I said it in a song. And then after I said it in the song, people just start calling me C4. So, oh, so that's like a nickname right. for you that so, you threw on there. So I embraced the name, and it's just like, shit, it's my fourth. It's the fourth Happy Halloween. It's the installment that everybody liked. It's the installment mm-hmm. that everybody looking forward to. They were really album, looking forward bro. to it because, that. right, they was looking forward to it because it was a lot of hard shit. The first time I really had features, I don't really use features. Mm-hmm. Like Turbo, like Taurus. We had some good other collabs with my personal in-house producer Strip. You know, like it was it was a good feel, the whole the whole album. Was a good and that's feel. the one that really put everyone on notice, like myself included. I couldn't escape that project. It yeah, everywhere. a lot of people would tell me that like it's uh like people hit me up like it's New Year's but it's still Halloween to me. Like yeah, yeah I, I fuck with yeah. that. Yeah. So what's that. so man, you've had you've been dropping projects after projects after projects. Right. But now I feel like, like we were saying before we started the interview, I feel like now it's beginning. Like, I feel like for you, the, the dawn has just started. Right, I feel the same way, I feel the same way. So what's next for you? What's, what's next up? Um, I'm really trying to just maximize my situation so I can just drop as much music for the fans as I can. Come out with the best videos, best, mm-hmm. best audio quality, best visuals, you know, just make it all make sense for the fans so they can just get more of you know what they want to see the motherfucking and, and CEO. be able to connect more with CEO the big boss yeah absolutely man I think you're gonna put on you're gonna put a lot of motherfuckers on just seeing the way you walked in the building the way you move so everybody knows the the CEO title is no exaggeration you're a CEO man. Uh, like appreciate you, it. the way appreciate you move it. I try to I try to just like I try to just make sure that if everybody like cuz I work a lot like I work my ass off I'm always in the studio I'm always doing this then the third so I just try to make sure my team really just understand that we a small intimate team but we if we all work as hard as I'm working then we'll really get it done absolutely. times 10 you know absolutely man you're only as good as your team especially right. in hip hop like right. we only see thug and gunna but Right. You know, it's the 10 people around, the 20 YSL people around. YSL family is great. Yeah, great. Kevin, shout out Ryan McTaggart. Great. I love See Ryan y'all. McTaggart. Side Reel. I call my guy DJ Side Reel. I don't know if you know him. He spins um, for Lil' Keith. Not really. I'm like, yo, I need to know some shit on trail. <laughs> I need some dirt. And he's like, man, I ain't got nothing to tell you. He's <laughs> ain't like, ain't really <laughs> no dirt, man. It's I was just, trying to get it. some Nardwar on you, man. I couldn't find no dirt on you. But I'm last thing I want to ask I'm a you, ghost. Bro, no, you really are, though. Like, I was going to say low-key. You're very low-key as far as, like, you're not making headlines, doing dumb shit. You're not out here saying crazy right. shit on the air. Yeah, I don't want to be music. really known for the gimmicks. I just want to be known for the music that I put out. That's, that's it. A, that's a beautiful thing, man. Well, you've been very uh, seasoned by Atlanta. Like, when I listen to you, I hear Atlanta. Right. So when my intern gave me the notes on you, and it said from the Bronx, <laughs> I was hella perplexed. I told him, I said, you got the wrong artist. Like, nah, you're looking up the wrong dude. Nah. I sent it back and he's like, nah, man, he's from the Bronx. Yeah. And I said, no fucking way. I'm listening to Happy Halloween C4 right now. It's not yeah. from the Bronx. Yeah, I'm from the Bronx. So you moved yeah. out, you were like 13, 13 you said, right? yeah. And uh, do you ever go back? You don't really go back. Yeah, for way. sure, I go back you to New York. I just, I just went back. Um, Probably like a week and a half ago, two weeks. I was They're probably there. on your ass, huh? Like, yeah, you're different I lo- CEO, I love you're different. New York. I love New York. I love going back home. It's like, they really embrace me. They I do. love being outside. I love they don't get, like, people aren't like, man, you left us behind. or nah, like you no, don't. no. Nah. I left when I was 13. I was That's a kid. True, so it's just you like shit, choice, you know, like. Yeah. And plus, like, I'm coming back now. So, you know, like, it, it'll all fall into place. BX still For sure. in your heart? Not even just the BS, it's just the whole New York as a whole because I still got family all over. So it's like mm. the whole New York. When I go to New York, I just be a little bit of everywhere, a little bit of here, a little bit of there, and like all over the five boroughs. And I just do my thing with the fam, you know? That's tight, man. You seem like the kind of cat who's good in every hood. I feel like I, maybe yeah, I'm reading yeah. this wrong, but you, uh, got, you got people everywhere and you're cool with everybody. Yeah. Uh, I ain't so, never been a really like person yeah. like. I, I ain't really ever been like the person that really like got beef and, st- and shit like that. Like people may not like me, but it's just like 
it be like other reasons to that shit. Mm-hmm. It don't ever be like me just outside trying to just beef with motherfuckers and pull guns and shit like that. I be trying to like teach my son like it's a better way to do everything. Absolutely, you know? man. You you got a good head on your shoulders, man. You're gonna make some waves in this motherfucking yeah, for industry. Sure. I'm really trying to fuck the game up. Well, last thing we're gonna end this with, what advice you got for the I like to say like the up and coming, but like that lazy ass rapper at home right now who 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 can't get up and get it, who's complaining. What advice you got for the up and comers um, at home? People always ask me for advice and stuff like that. And the only thing I could ever say is consistency. Like the only thing that really kept me to get to the point where I'm at was because I had such a large catalog. People could listen to me all day. Mm. And if you don't like this song, you like this song. You don't like yes. this song, you like this song. That's if true, you bro. Like, you a hard right, working I got, artist. If, if I got a hundred songs and you only like one, then you really love that one song. And you're really going to listen to that one song all the time. So yeah. it's like. I really got something that people could pick from, and it's a real variety. So it's just like that's the only thing I can say. Consistency. Stay consistent, and like the world is just bigger than the U.S. Man, if you're not going crazy in your state, you're probably going crazy in Zimbabwe somewhere. Like yeah, it's true. You know, like France, shit like that, man. You just gotta stay down, keep working, remain humble. I love that, man. Well, Monster out now. Happy Halloween, C4 out now. Yeah, I'm dropping a project tonight at 12. You got a new project coming tonight? Not a project. It's just a single, but my project. Okay, okay. I'm going to yeah. drop like a project uh, Valentine's Day. Okay. What's the record you got coming out at midnight? Um, The record I got coming out at midnight is called Mr. Walkdown. Let me see. Mr. Walkdown? Mr. Walkdown. That's how you know this motherfucker is working and has so many records under your belt. I seen on No Jumper, you were like, man, if I had my other phone with me, I got yeah, man, 50 I got of joints on here. I got hella songs, man, and shit. It get crazy, but I love having these many songs because I might, like, I forget about some or I, I work for hella, hella days, go to the studio every night and make hella new songs and then forget about the old songs and then come back two months later and listen and they fucking heat. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you got some heaters. Well, we'll see when it comes out. Right. By the time the interview's out, record's going to be out. Man, CEO, CEO Trail. Make sure I said CEO it right. CEO Trail, man. Okay, I make sure I say though, it right, man. man. You seem Mr. like the type C4. of dude to slap a motherfucker if they say your name wrong. <laughs> so I just had to, you know, I wasn't trying to get, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just trying to get their money, man. Uh-uh. <laughs> So That's nice all to meet I want you, to do. man. Dash yeah. Radio supports everything YSL, yeah, especially it. when you motherfuckers it. are dope. Appreciate it. Thank Appreciate you so much, it. bro. Slap. This is my one on Simply Good here on Dash Radio with CEO Trail. Yeah, man. Gang shit. Okay. I, I'm not even going to repeat that. <laughs> everybody, we out. We out. Hey.